uh, your own uh, specific dreams, like a reoccurring dream. If you look at there, first, there is somewhere you're stuck in that dream. But of course, we all, we all, how, many, how many times you look at that reoccurring dream, say, oh, yeah, I have a recurring dream. Somebody says, oh, I have a recurring dream. Oh, yeah, me too, I have a recurring dream. And then it's a very light conversation. You take it very lightly, not, uh, not pay a lot of attention to it. But it keep on ha happening, maybe last 10 years, 15, 20, 30 years. And probably it will keep on happening until you die. So this, is, this time is it's your opportunity to pay close attention to that. As I said, that dream, recurring dream, if you look at it, it's presence in every existence of your life, in one single thought. The way you see things, where you perceive things, where you respond to things, where you interact with things, the fruition of those interactions, it's present there. It's, it's recurring again and again. So somewhere, somewhere it has to be changed. Somewhere you need to get a message saying that's exactly what is happening. You are sleeping, you are dreaming. You have to be conscious, you have to be lucid, and you have to find your power, ability to transform and change. Where are you going to find it? In the waking state, that's one possibility. In pain, that's another possibility. Or very often, that's what happens. People feel they're really, really tired of experiencing pain in life. Then they said, what I can do? They wake up. In pain, they wake up. Even in a dream, that's what happened. You are so afraid. You're running. You're, thre you're, you're being threat. And you don't have any final solution. You wake up middle of the night. But you don't have to feel that bad to wake up. You can wake up before that. So if you look at it, you see they're all connected. So that's a very important part to see connection. And once you see the connection, then you see that through lucid dream, trying to be aware, 